Do not let salt be in this part of your house. It causes evil and danger. Do not let salt be in this part of your house. Many of you, you experience certain situation and you cannot even trace it. You don't even know that it's what you have done that is limiting you. It's what you have done that is keeping you at a spot. It's what you have done that is keeping you in one level for so long. When you do such things, now you are fetish. Now you are going against God. You are going against God. Now you are worshipping idol. When you keep salt in this part of your house, it's a problem. It's as if you are worshipping it. You need to get out of that stagnation. Get out of that problem. Get out of that sickness. Get out of that spot. It's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to succeed. It's time for you to make it. There are some of you, you were doing better before. Doing well. But all of a sudden, you see yourself coming down. Now you are doing worse. You can't even check yourself. What am I doing wrong? What was I doing wrong? What do I need to change in my life? I tell you this today for a miracle to happen. There are things you have to change in your life. Change certain things in your life. Your mode of worship. The things you pray with. How you relate to God. The things you commit. What you do and what you fail to do. All of this can hinder you from getting that your answer. And after much prayer, you still complain that God is not answering you. It's not as if God is not answering you. It's because there is a blockage. And these blockages is not just caused by the devil only, by witches and wizards only. At times, you are your own blockage. You are the one stopping yourself through your attitude, through the things you are doing wrong, through your faithlessness. You don't have faith. You do fetish things. You do fetish things. Place garlic on this, you will get money. You rush and do it. Put something in your urine, you do it. Thinking that this will bring you breakthrough. There is no breakthrough in such things. You should know that now. God is the way, the truth, and the life. The only way you can assess God is by doing away with all of those fetish things. When you pray with salt, it's not a bad thing. But when you sprinkle salt around your house, it's wrong. You don't sprinkle salt around your house. That is fetish. Except it is not for spiritual purposes. Maybe to stop cockroach, to stop this, but not for spiritual purposes. You don't sprinkle salt in your house. You can bless water. Bless water. That water becomes holy water. You sprinkle around your house. After blessing that water, you pray to God to bless it. Oh Lord, bless this water. As I sprinkle this water around my house, every evil will run far. Witches will run far. Wizards will run far. Demons will run far. We are soaked with the blood of Jesus. My house shall be a danger zone to my enemies. My house shall be a danger zone to witches and wizards. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, as I sprinkle this water around my house, let there be prosperity. Let there be favor. Let there be blessing. Whatever was not working well, will begin to work well. Whatever was planted in this house that is evil, that is stopping progress among my family members, among my children. Oh Lord, uproot it, uproot it, uproot it in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, anything in this house that belongs to the devil, that is bringing bad luck, that is bringing failure, that is bringing sickness, that is putting us in problems, that is killing our unity in this house, oh Lord, uproot it. When you have a property of the devil in your house, you cannot pray against the devil. If you have anything in your house, that belongs to the devil, not of God. You can't pray for progress. You can't pray for wealth. You can't pray for success because devil does not carry these things. Devil carries problem. Devil carries sickness. Devil carries failure and poverty. When you have the devil, you have sickness. You have pain. You have stagnation. You have unfruitfulness. You have wretchedness. So the only way to do away with your problems is to do away with devil. So you push away the devil and welcome God to your house. When you welcome God, you welcome blessings. You welcome favor. You welcome prosperity in your house. Every good thing that you need, you are welcoming. The moment you welcome God into your house, 
So all of those fetish things you are doing, garlic, ginger, salt, you sprinkle around your house to drive away evil, you are going against God. You are incurring the wrath of God. And you are welcoming the devil, which is a problem. So do not sprinkle salt in your house. You can only sprinkle holy water. In the Roman Catholic Church, they add salt to water, bless it, and sprinkle it. It's still okay. This is still okay, but not just sprinkling salt around your house. It's not good. It's fetish. Don't sprinkle salt around your house. After praying with salt, you can add to water, you can bath, you can do anything, but don't sprinkle salt around your house. It's fetish. Very, very fetish. You can even pray to God without any of these things. God will still answer you if he wants to answer you, okay? Stop doing this. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. Make sure the bell notification is turned on. Do well and give this video a thumbs up. Share with your friends. May God bless you. Stop doing this with salt, okay?